Ovarian cysts are the most common cystic structures found in the fetal abdomen. Thanks to ultrasound technology, their prenatal diagnosis has become more accessible. However, similar to other cystic intraabdominal structures, ovarian cysts are usually diagnosed in the third trimester, with a median gestational age of 35 weeks and a range of 26 to 40 weeks. These cysts typically originate from follicles in the ovarian cortex containing primordial follicles. In a meta-analysis of 420 fetuses, 50% of ovarian cysts regressed spontaneously, 35% had complications with torsion or hemorrhage, and 41% of neonates required surgery. According to one study, the size of a cyst plays a significant role in determining the outcome. If the cyst size is less than 50 mm, 98% of the cysts regress spontaneously, while if the size is greater than 50 mm, 93% of the cysts result in complications. Most authors suggest therapy, including drainage or postnatal surgical excision, if the cyst size exceeds 50 mm, prenatal aspirations of cysts that are greater than or equal to 50 mm result in significantly better outcomes than in those cysts of a similar size that are not aspirated. An ovarian cyst of 40 mm or less in size can regress spontaneously in 50% of cases. However, a cyst more significant than 40 mm can lead to complications such as cystectomy, torsion, or cystic hemorrhage. Regardless of whether the 50 mm cutoff or the 40 mm cutoff is used, it is consistent that cysts with a diameter greater than 40 mm can predict complications and the need for neonatal surgery. To avoid such complications, several authors suggest that cyst aspiration should be performed during the antenatal scan if the diameter of the cyst exceeds 40 mm. During the ultrasound exam, fetal gender should be confirmed. The prognosis is better for simple cysts less than 40 or 50 mm. Simple ovarian cysts frequently become complex before birth. A worse prognosis is encountered with complex or large cysts. Conservative management with no attempts at the aspiration of a complex ovarian cyst during the fetal period results in the loss of that ovary in the majority of cases. The patient is at 35 weeks of gestation and has a cystic structure in the lower abdomen, located to the left of the midline and adjacent to the anterior abdominal wall. The cyst measures 45 mm x 36 mm, which exceeds critical cutoff values and increases the patient's risk for torsion and infarction. At 35 weeks gestation, there is a cyst that goes up towards the fetal stomach. The cyst has lower level echoes than the stomach. During the evaluation of a cystic mass in the fetal pelvis, fetal gender is ascertained and confirmed to be female. Color Doppler confirms blood flow to the cyst. During the third trimester ultrasound, a right-sided ovarian cyst with sediment or blood echoes was detected. The cyst is more significant than 40 mm to 50 mm, indicating an increased risk of adverse outcomes.